Skynet has arrived. Okay, that's the wrong reference for the thumbnail that I used. What is going on guys? So we're talking about AI technology and how great it is and how it can be dangerous because it is great for beginners and it's also great for professionals. And this plugin makes me feel like it is 2019 as it does things that other plugins don't do well. And it uses the relay plugin, which communicates with Neutron 3 and allows you to get a great reference mix on all of your tracks using just one Neutron plugin. So we're gonna find out if it's good or not. I've been beta testing it for a while, but I really wanna show you the true power behind it. Let's go. So the link is in the description box, and this is how Neutron Advanced looks like in the flesh. As you can see, it looks just like Nectar 3, which is one of the best plugins that I've used already for vocals. And this one right here does the rest of the work. So um, you can see it is vectoral, so you can stretch it out just in case you have no eye vision like me, or you're just old, just like me. And you can see it looks really nice when it's stretched out. But I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it back real quick. And I'm going to get rid of this instance of Neutron real quick because I wanted to show you some other things. So I have a track in front of us right now and it is Freshy Fresh Focus and it's produced by me. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a little preview of it. And then I'm gonna go into showing you how to use Mix Assistant. So in order to use Neutron 3's new mix assistant feature, uh, you have to have relay on each and every one of your tracks. So it is important that you name your tracks properly in relay and on here as well, because organization is the key. And that way you can see it in Neutron 3. There are two ways that you can use the mix assistant. One of them is using Neutron 3. So if I pull up Neutron 3 in my master track, I can use the mix assistant right here or you can use the visual mixer. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into Mix Assistant and I am going to set everything up and you can see all the information right in front of you. So it tells you to insert compatible plugin, which is the relay plugin and also to reset the track volumes and all the pans. So it will allow Mix Assistant to calculate everything for you. And then you can begin and then you can choose focus points. So with me, I like my drums to be the main focus of a track because I like my drums to hit hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my kick and my clap because those are the things that I like the loudest in my mixes, in personally. So begin, and then you're gonna play the track fully until the very end. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the very beginning of the track. I'm gonna go to the very beginning of the track here, go back to the master, and then press play. So let's see what the AI technology did so far. So this is before. And this is after. Now, as you can hear, it is pretty good at mixing itself. And I really do like it. Uh, but there are things that could be adjusted. And that's where this shines at the most. Uh, as we can see, I don't really like where the vocals are sitting. So I would just raise the vocals because the vocals are there, right? So I can do that. Uh, also, there was a, a little bit of an element that shouldn't be in there, and that's where you go into edit classification. So from here, I'm going to see what I need to fix. So I heard the bell in the vocal. So what I need to do here is reclassify that under musical. So I'm going to do that. And I have everything. Just make sure that, you know, your bass, your kick, everything is in there where it's supposed to be. 
So I have my kick in my focus area because remember, I want my kick to be in its own personal area because I don't want it to be mixed up with everything. And then with that, my personal preference is to push that kick up a little bit more. And also you have your bass as well. So again, the preset that was made is a starting point. So I'm just using that, but just to show you, you know, some clarification of how good it is as far as arranging the tracks. Here's the percussion. I actually like what it was set there. It was actually sound pretty good. Uh, I like how the melody sounds like. The thing is that I want to do is push up the vocal just a little bit more. Then let's listen to the musical. So I'm going to push up the musical part to hear if everything is okay. Oh yeah. And now it's, it's, it's starting to sound like a record. And just from having a quick assistant to work with, that is phenomenal. So I'm going to go ahead and accept. And now we start to see everything else in the visual mixer here. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. And you can also do other things as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the trap hi-hats over here. Let's hear, let's hear how that sounds like. If you notice when I started pushing things over, which I didn't push over the the right thing, the right element, uh, what you can do again, you can just resize it and get deeper into it so you can get more detail out of it. And I push the sample over, I push the arps over to the right here, and this does affect the panning and the volume level. So you gotta be careful for what you do in this particular window. Another thing I wanna talk about, if you have the advanced version of Neutron 3, this is probably the first time that I would ever recommend the advanced version. And that's just in my opinion, because they have some of the best individual plugins to work with. And one of them I wanna check out is Sculpture. Uh, you will also notice that I have the Relayer in front of an R bass, which is a third party plugin uh, by Waves Audio that I really love using on my bass. But I also like using this right here, Sculpture. Now that I have Sculpture pulled up, uh, we're going to preview some of the different uh, presets that they have. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to arrange it right over here. Again, it's important that you use Relay in front of any other plugins that you have. So that way Relay can calculate properly. So what we're going to do is use Sculpture on the base. So I'm going to use that. Boom. Let's go on base. And let's hear how they sound like. Deep bass. Oof. Sub bass. So let's hear that collectively. Fast your pen. I'm trying to just show them that I'm in it. I'm trying to open their minds with the bass. What's the reason? I'm grinding. Yeah, I'm so focused. Mmm. <laughs> it sounds pretty damn good. So I'm gonna go back to deep bass. So I wanna hear how deep bass sounds like again. Mm. Let's mess with tone. Let's 
So basically, tone messes with the higher frequency content within the bass here. And you also can see that it's chopped off a wee bit over here, which is pretty good. And as you can see, it's chopped off over here because that is inaudible anyway. So, you know, usually when you have that particular part of your bass in there, all it does is just provide subharmonics that are unwanted and it will turn have a tendency to overlap over frequencies. So that's pretty cool. So let's use this to adjust the intensity of it. adjust the attack let's hear that in if all your I'm trying to get that new fast European I'm trying to just show them that I mean it I'm trying to open their mind yeah damn so let me know how you feel about this demonstration of some of the newer features of Neutron 3 because I used the advanced version and again, I beta tested it and I was very surprised with the results. I think artificial intelligence has came a long way. It's starting to feel like it is 2019 now with the way this type of technology is and I hope other plugin companies actually start seeing this and taking heed to what Isotope is doing because they are setting a bar that is unprecedented with the way that they're using their other plugins to bring in a workflow. Another thing that I really like about Neutron 3 is it doesn't take away from any other plugins that you would use. So if you're like a fan of like Waste plugins or Sonables or, or any other mixing plugins, you're not excluded from it. The pros about this is obviously it works the way it's intended. Uh, I think it's really good for beginners to use this so they can get a gist of leveling. And I think a lot of beginners have an issue with that because they don't understand how leveling works. And then when you start bringing in things like compression and all that, it makes it quite difficult for them to understand even more. The cons of it, I don't know, man. Like what will be a con? Just let me know in the comment section of a con that you think about this plugin. The only con would be that there are people out there I know that will be lazy and just wanna slap this on your master track and then just put relay on every one of your tracks and then allow to do that and it's supposed to be the preset that it makes is supposed to be a starting point but it's a pretty darn decent starting point if you don't know anything about mixing so do i give this the stamp of approval come on bro you already know yes